Hello. <laughs> yeah, my beginnings might have been cut off because I started talking when it was probably setting up. Sorry about my beginnings on my other videos. But welcome! Welcome! This is episode 59 of the Let's Play series. You might hear my voice is echoey, it's probably quite poor quality. Uh, I'm still using the blue snowball, but as I'm on my Mac, I don't have the preset things um, from voice meter. It's not available on... It's, it's sadly, it's sadly, sadly, sadly not available for my Mac. So yeah, damn, they're for our Lunar Beast for 999 Topaz, that's such a bad deal. But many might see that as worth it, but in my eyes, I don't really think it's worth it at all. I, I really think it's a bad deal, it's the worst deal in the, on the century. Unless you're impatient and do not want to get it from a weekly shop, then it's perhaps, or any other event, probably cheaper than any Topaz, then... Sure, sure. I don't think I've ever seen it for diamonds. Maybe if they offered it for like 2000 diamonds it would have been worth it, but I don't really think it's worth it right now. Let's get AFK. <laughs> Hello, Katty. Do you want to say hey to the hey to the fox? Hey to the people? Yeah, the cat is sitting beside me now and ha having a good time. Just sitting there and... Uh, what is it called? Like... When they make like, mm, uh, or whatever noise, what is that called? I don't know what that's called in uh, English, but uh, yeah, because we call it his, his han maler, maler, <laughs> and I mean his painting, <laughs> if you translate it, it goes from, uh, from what, what we call it, which sounds kind of cute, to like, yeah, his painting. Yeah, it's painting right now. I don't think that's uh, what what you call it or what you say in the Americas or any English place. So if you guys want to let me know, that what that would be cool. And if while you're doing that, hit that like button, like that thumbs up button. And uh, yeah, by the way, I got myself a Twitter pr Twitter Twitter profile, which I linked. I have in my descriptions right now. I don't think many people noticed it because. Honestly, I wouldn't have, <laughs> I would not have noticed it. I only read the beginning, two lines. So yeah, um, I got myself a Twitter. So if you want to follow that or just be more updated on my personal life or anything like that, you can just hit hit that follow button on that Twitter, and then you can see 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 what I tweet. What what do I tweet about? Well, I kind of tweet about like. Thank you for 500 hundred subscribers. I I did do I did tweet that, and I I'm tweeting like what's up guys, how are you? And I think I tweeted about uh, getting a divine shield right now. Just, pss. Uh, no, I guess not. <laughs> uh, what else? I'm just tweeting random things, random things throughout the day. I figured why the hell not, and. Why the hell not get a freaking level 8 fuse, fusion rune? Yeah, why the hell not do that? So so let me do that. Let me do such a thing. And let me claim that. Uh, and let me claim a divine shield from this. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to say that until I actually get the divine shield. I'm telling you, that's what I'm going to do. Bulk combine. Can I upgrade everything? Is that enough? It's not enough for another level 7. Uh, gotta buy more. Gotta buy more, 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 more. Sadly. It sucks, but... You you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Uh, let's see. Yeah, damn, I gotta buy more hit runes. I don't really like buying hit runes. There are so much better things to buy. <laughs> but I need it for the attack hit. <laughs> Sorry, Mac, but I, I need it. Actually, hmm, no, I don't think that would work. I could like combine up my level six fusion to level seven, and then build two level sevens and increase that, and be happy. But I don't have two level six hits, and 
I don't think I have two level. Well, I have two level six attacks easily. But I would need another level six set. Plus, I don't think I would have enough. Uh, uh, I probably w would have enough. Uh, whatever that's called, six hundred and sixty-six rune gems. Illuminati confirmed right here. It's right here, guys. Illuminati confirmed. It has been confirmed. Confirmed by a Norwegian guy sitting somewhere in the world, not going to reveal my place because I don't want to get killed. Just kidding. I don't think they kill people. Why would they? They're pro I don't know. I don't know. Do I believe in the Illuminati? By the way, would you guys want like a series where I discuss like conspiracy theories and what my thoughts on them over what I've heard about them? That would be kind of cool. But I, I would have to read up a lot, you know. And uh, I think I would kind of just take it like, yeah, I don't know. Why not? I can, from what I've read, and I can just explain, explain it from that. If you guys would want that, uh, com comment it down below. And I will, I will check it. <laughs> I will, I what? Oh, sorry, but I'm just yawning. What conspiracy theories would you guys want me to go over if you want that kind of stuff? I kind of like them, like, us going to the moon? No, it never happened. Like, uh, aliens on Earth? Mm, I don't know. I think it's most, eh, uh, aliens. There's so been so many sightings, but you know, there, there's so much falsification. So I can't really say if it's on there on Earth or not. What do I believe though? I don't believe aliens are on this Earth. Except for us, because we're aliens. We are aliens to other aliens, so yeah. The reason me not being an alien... I've seen so many sightings and so many pictures and yada yada yada. But I just right up think it's all fake. I think someone wants them to be real, to sell their aliens or hair shirts or whatever. Yeah. I want to believe that aliens is real, but... I, I just... I believe the moon landing is false. Aliens, I don't believe in. Until I, like, see them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what about... Well, it's kind of random, though. Aliens must have come up... I think aliens have been on this planet. Definitely. I think aliens and more evolved life has been on this planet many, many years ago, but traveled away. Perhaps even created us humans to be the race of this planet. For all we know, we might be made by aliens. We might have been made by aliens, and uh, we're their little experiment. We never know that. But that might be a possibility. What about the blob? That was... I don't... I think the blob is real. It's, it was probably a not, it probably wasn't a monster or a creature, but it was probably a, a, a phenomena. It was probably something very unique which happened, something extremely unique, uh, nat natural phenomena I guess it's called. Like, something must have happened deep in the core of the earth. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe there's a huge creature just lying down there, or, or, yeah, I don't think there's a creature with that kind of size. Yeah, because we would have known, uh, yeah, it was just a cat scaring the crap out of me. Yeah, I, sorry, I, I, uh, I'm kind of getting off topic here, I want to continue. Yeah, but as I was saying though, I don't think there was a creature that big in this world. And this cat needs to up. Uh, tickling me. I think it was a natural phenomena, the blob, if you have heard about it. It was that the entire Pacific Ocean just made a loud noise all over, destroying like radars and all that stuff. So yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't I don't I don't think there's a creature. I, I think more like it's a natural phenomena that something that day has happened. It sounded like a human voice, but many things can sound like a human voice. It's Maybe maybe it was a god. I don't I don't freaking know. But I don't think it was a monster of any sort. I don't think anything could be that big on this planet and live. Yeah, cause imagine all the food it would need. It would need. It wouldn't just. It wouldn't survive straight up. It would just be science fiction at that point. Uh, yeah. 
What about the Bermuda, Bermuda Triangle? Do you believe in the Bermuda Triangle? I I think there's something messed up there indeed. But I don't I don't really I think that's also kind of a natural phenomena that in that specific area there are like a freaking there there are something in the weather there that's just messed up. Like in Bergen in Norway it rains like over 90% of the time. Like it rains much more that much, much more days than anywhere else in the world. It's probably one of the wettest places in this in, on the planet. And I think that's that place, Bermuda Bermuda Triangle, is somewhere like there's almost storms. There are storms. There are things avoiding radars, and there are a lot of things happening every single every single day because it's much more common there. And that's why those planes have just fell down. There might have been a small volcano, or it might have been just a storm taking them down, and they're then sinking down to the bottom of the oceans where we couldn't find them because of like water currency or water currency or something so yeah I, I don't I think Bermuda Triangle is a natural phenomena and nothing mystical it might as well be uh, but I don't I don't really think that if there was a sea monster or something taking down planes from the sky let me know but I, I don't really believe in that either. I'm kind of a boring guy, ain't I? Yeah, I saw, also saw a picture in the back in the day where people used like new phones and stuff. I think that's just photoshopped. People can just photoshop new phones and new things in people's in people's things. I don't think tra I don't think time travel is real. The reason being, I think we would have been aware of it, but for for what I know they might not have revealed themselves to us purely because it would mess up history and nobody wants to take that chance uh, say so maybe just maybe no one just wanted maybe no one wants to take the chance to like time travel back and let themselves be known because that would be a new story that would be all over this all, all over this time and that would kind of mess up history and maybe they wouldn't be there back then Maybe it's they have revealed themselves to some people. I don't know. But yeah. <coughs> what about the Hitler Hitler conspiracy theory? That's got, that's kind of a good one. Yeah, they say that Hitler actually actually wasn't. Uh, he he didn't kill himself. It was a setup with like probably a very nice <laughs> look like. With I don't know. Uh, anyway, the the theory goes that he escaped. And uh, fled to, I think, Brazil. And uh, that's where he stayed until he died of old age. He didn't make himself known anywhere any anymore. So he just lived out his life there in secret. So, do, do I believe in that? I think it's possible. I think it's possible that it's, it's happened. But it's definitely one of the more un unrealistic ones. But... Why not fake your own death to survive out your life? I think I I think many people would do that, like if if they were mad and in his position. Because even though he was a nazist, nazist, and even though he was freaking the biggest monster on this planet, pretty much, he was smart. He was smart. He was good to talk to talk for himself and all that stuff. So it wouldn't surprise me if he had. Like a backup plan if he lost the war that he had like a freaking doppelganger or someone to look exactly like him and probably take a lot of his blood before... Yeah, I, I think it might be possible. Maybe it's possible. I don't know if he fled and lived out his life, but it might be a po possibility. But do I believe in it? I'm going to say... I don't know. It's 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 so possible, you know. It 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 is kind of realistic, but then again, I I'm not fully sure about, like, did they find the evidence that they like linked the DNA to him and stuff? Did they even have that technology way back when? Yeah, I think it's sketchy. But if I have to answer yes or no, if I believe in it, I would say no. I think he killed himself, but I I wouldn't be surprised if 
if we found out like he lived out his days. I wouldn't be surprised, just to say that. It wouldn't have been surprising to me, alright? Uh, what other theories is there? is there? There are so many theories about everything, like the two towers. There are so many theories that it was like many, many things predicted it, like the Simpsons did in a poster, like... Uh, like there, there are so many things just pointing towards all these planes just hitting the towers like way before. So I don't think the Simpsons or anyone knew about it. I, however, think probably a few TV series and movies probably are part of the Illuminati. <laughs> well, that make me makes me sound like a f idiot, but hear me out. Um, according to do I believe in the Illuminati? Hell yes. Uh, but do you want to know why I believe in the Illuminati? What what proof do I have that I exist? I don't have any full one. I can't really just hand over a page saying yeah there is their signature and all that stuff. But it's provable by the fact that many music artists does this symbol like this triangle like and put their eye in the middle that symbolizes the Illuminati that's an Illuminati sign also I don't know if you guys have noticed but an old picture of Michael Jackson where he sits like with having his hands like okay that's actually he holds his hand perfectly to make it sound that's also an Illuminati symbol like 666 between his, your, his fingers he was a part of the Illuminati and what happened he wanted to leave it he I th he left uh, what was it PlayStation 3 he oh, he owned half of Sony or something he owned half of it and then he left and he called the leader a devil and then he left that was presumably when he left the Illuminati because I think he, he kind of talked about it in other words and a little bit after he got killed he just or he didn't get killed, but his doctor gave him too much medicine. But I think he was killed. I think many conspiracy theorists think that he was killed. And I think so too. You don't... You can't... When, you're, you, when you've been in it so, as long as he have, since he was a kid, there's no leaving it. You, If you leave it, you will, will just die straight up. And they used the doctor probably gave him a lot of money or some promised him whatever to kill Michael Jackson and that's why he died. That's also a theory. And there are so many others, so many artists share these dark, these dark lyrics, like messed up lyrics. You don't, sometimes it's a good tune, every song is a good tune, but the, the, some lyrics are very dark. Like to mainstream, yeah mainstream is getting kinda Kind of out there, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I think it, they're trying to spread their message. That, uh, but they're not spreading it like fully, you know. They're they're praying to a demon called, I I think it's the demon of music. I'm not sure what his name is, but anyway, he is. I think they're kind of like spreading their words through the freaking through their songs somehow, some intricate way nobody would know it about. But they're probably having some words from the dif different things we will never find out, which says like different messages and stuff. It's just to say that yeah, he's the best, he's the god, instead of instead of God, God, which many Christians believe in. Uh, so yeah, I think it has something to do with that. Sorry, I feel like I was kind of productive today. <laughs> but yeah, I think it has something to do with that, you know. Um, there, there are just too much proof that the Illuminati exists, straight up. Many people make jokes about it, like Illuminati, Illuminati confirmed and all that stuff, but I, I do believe in the Illuminati. And I do believe, even though their message is not, cor not something the mainstream wants, or the main most people wants, I think they're doing a fine thing, even though Presumably, again, they want people to sell their souls to that god to be like rich and famous and stuff. But you gotta think, if you were, if you were a decent singer, but you wouldn't get anywhere in life, you wouldn't like, 
you wouldn't really get any contracts. You wouldn't get partnered with any with any company because you were just not good enough. And then someone comes to tell you, "Hey, if you if you join us, uh, they would of course not say sell your soul in the beginning, but if they start by that, like." Do you want to get famous? Do you want to get rich? Do you want to be sponsored by a gigantic plate company like Sony Music Illuminati, for example? Because, yeah, Sony, I think that they might be a part of it. But yeah, if someone offered you the chance to be rich and famous, even if it meant selling your soul, wouldn't you take it? Because what does selling your soul do? We don't know. Is it just a contract? Is it just... What what does it mean to sell your soul? Do you feel anything? Do do is it just soul like on a paper? Does it hurt? If it doesn't hurt, why not just do it? You're if they believe if the, if you don't even believe in having a soul, if you don't believe in souls, why would you care if you sold it? If you could get rich and famous. So I like the idea that they give artists, which probably isn't that good they give them a chance to be good even though they're doing it with a way that most people wouldn't want or most people wouldn't approve i think it's still a good thing that they exist because they do even though they have some message in their lyrics and stuff they still make them good songs and they still give every once in a while new artists more chance a chance they give people a chance to be famous even if it's in a bad way they give them a chance to be rich and famous i would take that chance i would freaking <laughs> if i could be rich and famous from singing or something <laughs> i can't yeah i don't need to i don't need illuminati for that just listen to me and I, I. all right but you guys understand what i mean <laughs> if if i had the chance if any, if you if you had a chance to be rich and powerful and a celebrity all over, you could join the Oscars, you could join the Grammys, you could win the Grammys, you could live a freaking amazing life. Would you sell your soul for that to the Illuminati? That's the question. Would you do that? I don't know if, about you guys, but I live as a life like that. It's worth joining the Illuminati for. I understand why many artists join them for the money, for the fame. And CBA. Yeah, of course. Wouldn't you? I straight up would. <laughs> if you if you won't, then you then you're too happy of a person or you're a super Christian. <laughs> but yeah, I do believe they exist. I I straight up do. Why wouldn't they? They they make good music like it Eminem's rap god. It's amazing. But it has some dark lyrics, but I'm not sure he... I don't think he would join them. Why would he? He's rich. He don't. He was famous a long time ago. I don't think he ever joined them. But yeah, I'm making it sound like they're super real, but it's just a conspiracy theory. Now, one more theory before we end it off. I will not do... Yeah, while we're doing our final things. I will not... I do, I do not believe in the moon landing. <laughs> do you want to know why? If you look in the movie or the video they posted, you don't see any stars. That's fine, right? Well, you see a lot of wind. Is there wind on the moon? I thought space was windless. And there was no stars. And the lighting is all messed up. It's not supposed to look like that either, according to a lot of people. And uh, Lance, Lance Armstrong didn't want to swear that he was to the moon. He didn't want to swear it on the Bible. So what does that lead to? A big conspiracy theory is what it leads to. Did, did it really happen, the moon landing? Did, did it happen or didn't it? That's the question. That is indeed the question. Ah, oh, damn. Don't... Mess me up, cat. Uh, yeah, I don't... It's It just looks too fake for me. It just looks too fake. It doesn't look real. And if you think it looks real, then you need to get your eyes checked. 
<laughs> that was kind of mean, but I hope you guys understand that. Yeah, I, I just don't believe it's real, but you can, of course. It's a free, it's a free world, but it's too ma too many things points that it's just propaganda because the Russians was in the in space first, so the Americans had to be on the moon first. But why haven't we been able to do it ever since? What was so special about that aircraft, which is a hundred times worse than anything we have built now, and we will not get to the moon? Yeah, I think it's just propaganda, but that's that's my opinion. Many people can think whatever they want. I totally forgot to do this, by the way. Sorry for not talking much about the game today. This is kind of... Uh, this is just kind of a conspiracy theorist talk. You know, th theories. Uh, everything can be fake, or everything can be real. Or some can be real, and some can be fake. Many of you guys might disagree with me. Some of you might agree. There are so many variables in this. You, you have no idea. There are so many things we don't know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this was a kind of a conspiracy theory episode. <laughs> now I made one of these too. Uh, why not make some conspiracy theory episodes? I hope you guys found them. I hope you guys found them. I hope I hope you found it ent entertaining. I hope you found a conspiracy theorist entertaining. And there are so many out there, and there are so many which is probably false and which is probably real. But after all, after all saying this, why don't I believe that aliens is real? Because it just looks photo photoshopped. <laughs> so yeah, straight up, it just. I think people want people to believe in aliens and I, I want to believe in them straight up but there is not enough evidence for me to do it I need I need a little bit of facts like there are so many facts about about for example the moon landing you can see the video for yourself you can Illuminati there are so many pointers towards that it's real but even if it is real in my opinion it's not bad because they give people a chance, even though it's in the in the wrong way. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank everyone for watching this little conspiracy theory episode. If you if you did enjoy this episode, and if you want more episodes where I talk about things like these, let me know. Uh, and yeah, I hope you I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed it. This is unlike everything anything else I've done. I'm I'm talk I've talked about many theories and stuff which I find very fascinating I find them very fascinating yeah <laughs> uh, alright uh, goodbye subscribe